6 p.m. service. When praises go up, blessings come down. When praises go up, blessings come down. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. When praises go up, blessings come down. When praises go up, blessings come down. God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now, Lord Jesus, for this evening time, Lord Jesus, that we can continue to worship you and praise your name, Lord Jesus, for all the manifold blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Lord Jesus. We ask that you touch the speaker, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, that you touch him, Lord Jesus, with words, Lord Jesus, that are just for us, Lord Jesus, that will help us be better in you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we give you all glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Okay, it's our offering time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we ask that you um, get your offering together. And stand, and I turn you over to the beautiful youth choir. If you didn't have a chance to give earlier for the youth ministry, Pastor asked for $30 a month yes. to support our youth. And if you didn't have a chance to give your offering and your tithes, please do so now. Thank you. Everyone stands him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Praise him. 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 Praise him.
when the sun goes down. Oh, praise him, praise him, praise him. Everybody, please stand and follow the directions of the ushers to the rear. Thank you. Oh! 
Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. A second chance. 
Boone here feels that the Lord has given them a second chance. Give the Lord some radical praise right now if you feel that the Lord has spared your life. If you feel that God has done something to save your wretched self, get on your feet and give him some praise. You should be in the Inglewood Cemetery right now. You should be in hell right now. For all eternity. But God gave you, me, us a second chance. I cannot let that stay inside of me. I got to let that praise out. Because if it wasn't for Jesus. My first and only chance would be it. But thank the Lord. Hallelujah. For a second chance. Some dirt filth like me. You may be seated. Hallelujah. A second chance. But we're going to talk about, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for salvation. Thank you, Lord, for this apostolic doctrine. But un unfortunately, Pastor, that does not apply to all of us. Some of us, some of you, not me, cannot say that I'm saved. This is a youth message. I want all the youth to come forward to today, this afternoon. If you're young, I'm talking about if you are 25 and younger, come up and, and the older people, 26 and older, you take the back seat today. Would like all the youth to come forth. Amen. Let's do this quickly. Let's do this quickly. Amen, amen. They're just chairs. It's not rocket science. Amen. Let's turn to Luke. Actually, let's talk about the title of the message. Okay, so let me just give you a little, you know, put this in, in, your, in, in your mind. I just mentioned that, okay, according to Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Peter's, Peter preached that we must be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen? And on top of that, you have to live a holy life. That's the apostles' doctrine in a summation. But for a lot of us, youth, speaking to you today, amen, you have not been baptized. You may not have the Holy Ghost, amen? And many, and some adults in here may not be saved, amen? I'm speaking to the youth, but it's also the word covers everybody in here. So the title of this evening's message, once you get around to it, what you going to do with it? Once you get around to it, what you going to do with it? Amen? Let's go to Luke chapter 12. Once you get around to it, what you going to do with it? Luke chapter 12, we're going to read verses. 15 to 21. When you're there, please say amen. Amen. Everybody there? Youth, you should have Bibles too. Amen. Share. Amen. And the word of God reads. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. 
And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will put down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, So thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and not rich towards God. Amen. Amen. You, do y'all know what that means? What that parable means? Have any idea? Shout out an answer if you know. Have an idea. What topic is it talk? What is Jesus talking about? I'll help you. It starts with a C. It's in the beginning of it. Okay, let's go back to it. Let's go to verse 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. Stop right there. This is about covetousness. Amen. This rich man, he coveted this world. He wanted to please his flesh versus pleasing God. Amen. Let's call this man Mr. I'll get around to it. Let's just call this gentleman in the Bible in this passage of scripture, Mr. I'll get around to it. Amen. Let me give you, a, this is what I observed with the church today. And this has been going on for history. But to this point, I feel like this is like a capstone on this sin. The youth in church nowadays is covering the world more than ever before. Amen. There's something like Paul, I think it was David that said, my foot almost slipped when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Y'all think that the youth that are your same age that are in the world have it better than you do. Many of you were brought up with saved parents. All you know is gospel music, going to church service, coming to prayer, fasting, suffering unto godliness, dressing holy, amen, and the list goes on. Your life is managed by a pastor. God governs your life. He got you in a good restriction that you may make it one day to be reunited with him in heaven. But even us adults get tainted with this old nasty flesh because of stains. Young people, I, I, this ain't the first time that I've said this to you. Talk to your parents, those of us that came in the Lord at a latter age. We weren't brought up in the church. We didn't have the opportunities and the, I would say the spiritual prosperity as you did coming up. And the things that we got to battle and struggle and fight in this old nasty flesh that we got to toil with. No excuse, because we got to fight the good fight of faith as well. But in this passage, this man said, I got barns, but the things that I want to contain in these barns, I, 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 they too small, so I got to build bigger. Because lust never satisfies. You go from having one girlfriend, one boyfriend, to having two. And then you do your multiplication, and then you know, it just get like that multi multiplication table. And you just start seeing that number magnify. The same thing with drugs. You think I started off smoking crack cocaine? No, it was a beady with a string on it. It was that at first. And how did I end up with a pipe in my mouth? How, how, how in the world did I get to drinking Mad, uh, 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 Everclear when I was sipping on Mad Dog and Cisco? How, how did I go from sleeping with people that I'm ashamed to mention when I just was 
messing with the average school, school age girl? How did this sin magnify in my life? This generation, y'all born is social media. Y'all born is social media. If I was to breach the doors to your barn, what would I find? If I was to bust through, hypothetically, your barn doors, what would I find? What have you stored up? Will I find videos of you fighting? Will I find you cussing? While well, I see your booty in the camera, dropping it, shaking it, twerking it. What would I find? What I find the unmentionables and unimaginables. You throwing up devil horns and all that crazy mess. What will I find? Where I find your hypocrisy. Where I find your two-facedness. Where I find your hypocritical self on stage. What? Those are treasures? That's what you value? Don't be fooled, young people. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by this world tricking you thinking that's better for you don't be fooled by your so-called friends either that are in the world and of the world god is not pipelining no word of encouragement no gospel is coming from their lips they are blind they have no light they're devoid of it and you I, we, us, are supposed to be that divine light that reaches out in darkness, that is seen in all the world, and it's not because of us, it's because of Christ that resides in us. Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verse 39. A couple pages back. My goal for the youth department is that I want 100% saved rate in this church. Amen. That's my prayer. That's my passion. But I got to die to bear fruit. I got to die to bear fruit, Pastor. My life. What about Brother Beverly's life? In order for that to come into fruition, I got to die. In order for you, youth, young people, to go into the world and to subvert a hearer, you have to die. Your, your life has to belong. You have to, your life has to be transformed. You have to be renewed in your mind. We have to be renewed in our mind. But there's a dichotomy, there's a problem with this because grown folks, the elders of the church, the people that are actually in the ministry, in the positions that you are about to step into, are we misleading you? We have to ask ourselves honestly, are we truly faithful? The thing about the old saints that pastor can bring up and some of the older saints in here that have been saved a while. I remember when pastor put us and lined us up. Some of those older saints can re recant some of the people, pioneers that they looked up to and they said, that man, uh, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no smoke behind that person's name. They live saved. Your reputation, how people depict you, matters. And it's not so much, it's not so much for glory. It's, not, it's for Jesus to get the glory. And let's go to Luke chapter 6, verse 39. You there? Luke chapter 6, verse 39. You there? And the word of God reads, please read out loud.
They don't know where they're going. You got one blind person leading another blind person. Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles are walking together trying to find the city of Los Angeles. They're not going to be able to find it. They're both blind. You need somebody with sight, somebody with vision, somebody that can see. That's where Jesus comes in. He's the only one that can direct thy path. He's the only one that knows your wretched self. And he, his, he's a, he is the light. He exposes all sin. So when he shows up, he shows you yourself. Let's talk about being blind for your generation. And this is applicable to all of us. Amen. Don't give an example. When y'all feeling yourself and want to let go, right? These are some examples of how you worship the flesh. Amen? Tell me if this sounds familiar. The arm thingy. Rock your hips. Thumb to the nose. The sexy walk. Milly rock, the floss, kill the roaches, hit them folks, reverse, whipping nene, twerking, the robot crackhead, yike, the TLC, the drunk Mexican uncle, the backpack dance, and the block boy. <laughs> dance moves. Dance moves. <laughs> dance moves. Hey, hey. Hey, I, uh, don't judge. Don't judge because we had silly dance names too. The Cabbage Patch and the Running Man. The, the, the Soul Train Line and the Electric Slide and the, the Bump and the Four Corners and you know, the list goes on. Dances. Hold on. Let's not judge because all of us and, and, I, and, and I want you to name some dance moves. What's the popular dance moves? Name them. The what? The shoop? What? That, that, that dance that you said, black boy, is called shooting. It's called like, you shoot. I don't know. Okay, amen. Uh, Grown-ups, name a dance that you remember that took you back. You ain't, come on. I know you know. I know you know. The K Swiss, the crib walk, the the blood walk, the hustle. What else? So, oh, oh, I, the mashed potato, right? What else? What else? Come on. The tootsie roll, the butterfly. All right, man. The bump. See, pass. <laughs> Say, I would have Pastor come up and demonstrate what the bump looked like, but I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay, but listen, listen. And you know what? I've seen a couple of y'all around here with your little, with your little safe selves, just boogieing, just boogieing. Y'all, y'all, y'all forget that you in your flesh, and you might hit something. And you, oh, I'm at church. I, I, I know y'all do it. I seen it. I seen it. This flesh ain't no joke. Amen. But I did that as an example to show that. Oh, it's common. We all have that experience. Ain't nothing new under the sun. And a lot of the dancers, like the running man, y'all messed it up. Y'all then took the dance and they ain't no running man. Amen. But y'all, ain't nothing new under the sun. You can't judge. That's why I love, I love what Pastor did today when a sin, God wanted us to be honest and just confess. This is a house of confession. A house of repentance. Which applies to, you know, to each his own. Amen. Those that, let's say this again so we'll be sure who's this addressing to if you ain't saved you repent amen but once you saved amen you confess you come up 
pastor gave the instruction how that works, how the flow of service is in the system, and you confess. Amen? So nobody's better than the next person. When you look at, all oh, he's doing those worldly dances nowadays. You did them too, adults. Amen? And you probably did them nastier. Amen, lights, huh? But when it come, but when you come to church, when you come to church, listen to this. When you come to church, what are some of the holy dance moves you know? Well, you know, do you know the holy dance names? Do you know the, the, the movements of praise and worship? They exist, you know. Halab means to brag or boast. The Lord is great and he's greatly to be praised. Yada means to worship with extended hands. Hallelujah. Barak. Praising God openly. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name. You're worthy to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. Openly. I ain't ashamed of my God. Barak. Tahelia. To sing. Praises go up. Blessings come down when praises go up. Blessings come down. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Give him. Praise him. For he alone is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zamar. Zamar. To pluck a string instrument. Now, I ain't got no string instrument, amen? But you find an instrument to play. Whether, because you know a string instrument is a piano. It's a guitar. They're called... Those are, those are things that you strike. Amen? Ta-da! To shout with a loud voice. Hallelujah! 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 And Shabbat. The Lord is great! And he's greatly to be praised. And you do all of these things to your final praise, which is hallelujah. hallelujah. Don't you know that's the highest praise? Don't you know that is the highest praise? Because what that does is let God know this is it. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. There's nobody greater. There's nobody that can substitute your love, your grace, your mercy. Oh, hallelujah, your presence in my life. So, Lord, this is it. My mind's made up. I ain't going nowhere. I will run for you. I will sing for you. I will dance for you. Oh, hallelujah. That's the point. But what? Okay, I, I dare somebody to match my God. I'll take you to the Old Testament. Now, I got my God. Bring your idol. Bring your dance moves. And I want you to explain them and show feeling like I just did. And let's see who wins. You can't come up with a definition of meeting any substance from those stupid moves. This is it. So 
So what about those dance moves, young people? Huh? What about that? The moral, the moral of the parable for Mr. Round, around to it, is that he coveted his flesh more than he coveted God. Mr. Around to it never got around to it. Mr. Around to it never got around to it. Let that not be your parable. Show of hands. Who would here doesn't have the Holy Ghost? Be honest and raise your hand. Stand up. Everybody, stand up. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, that means with the evidence of speaking in, in, in tongues. Amen? In other tongues. Amen? With a God gave utterance. Amen? With the Spirit dwelling in you. And you don't know what you're saying. It feels so good. But God is just praising, using your vessel. And if you haven't had this experience, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Would y'all say that if y'all got around to it one day that you would get the Holy Ghost then? Would you say that? If you got around to it one day, would you get the Holy Ghost then? When you say that? Right? We we'll always say we'll get around to it, right? Right? Well, great news today. I got a bag full of round to it. Oh, yes, sir. Give them they round to it. Let me have one, too, so I can read the instructions. No, I don't need it, but I'm going to go ahead and orchestrate. Amen? Everybody, y'all going to get around to it today. You get around to it today. See, the thing is, one little thing that this story about the parable is that he got his round to it, but he didn't use it. He got his round to it, but he didn't use it. Who else? Now, say, folks, I'm sorry, you already used your round to it. Now you just do it. We just do it. Faith to faith. That's how we live. But these babes, these people, these unborn, they need a kickstart in their faith. Around to it. This is a to it. Read it loud with me. This is a to it. Guard it with your spiritual life. As to it's are hard to come by, and especially the round ones. If you have one in your possession, utilize it immediately because this one expires right after altar call. This is precious and an indispensable item. For years we heard people say, I'll get the Holy Ghost as soon as I get around to it. Now that you have one, you can jumpstart your faith of receiving the Holy Ghost. You have been putting aside until you got around to it. Now, that you got your round to it. What are you going to do with it? In Jesus' name. All right. So everybody got their round to it, right? Ministers, come on up. 
Ministers, come on up. Ministers, come on up. Ministers, come on up. Because somebody might want to use their round to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone may want to take this opportunity. Hallelujah. To be baptized in Jesus' name. And to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody might want to use their round to it. Hallelujah. And we'll tarry with you if you if you need to tarry for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because we don't want this night to pass. Pastor said something a couple of weeks ago. He said, one day we're going to be five minutes from the rapture. Hallelujah. And then your round to it is going to be ex permanently expired. One minute we gonna one day we're gonna be one minute from the rapture. Hallelujah. And then we all have our personal rapture. Right? The day that the Lord calls us home personally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you die tonight, you won't be able to use your round to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So take this opportunity to get to know Jesus. Take this opportunity, hallelujah, to get the Holy Ghost. Take this opportunity to be baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It is a promise unto you. The Bible says that the Lord promised you he'll give you the Holy Ghost. It's not just for me. It's not just for your parents, your grandparents. It's something that you need to go to heaven. It's something that you can't, you shouldn't live without. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the souls that want to take up on a round to it. Hallelujah. I will trust in the Lord. Everyone who's already filled I with the Holy Ghost, trust remain prayerful. The Lord. If you have the Holy Ghost already, let's remain prayerful. Let's, the Lord there are people tearing. Until I die. Thank you, Jesus. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the lord i will trust in the lord until i die jesus. i jesus. will trust in the lord i will trust in Thank the you, Lord, I will trust. Anybody else want to use their round to it? In the Lord, Thank you, until Lord. I die, I will trust in the Lord. I will Thank trust. You, in the Lord, I will trust in the Lord until I die. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray. I'm going to watch.
fight and pray. I'm going to watch, fight and pray until I die. I'm going to watch, fight and pray. I'm going to watch, fight and pray. I'm going to watch, fight and pray until I die. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees until I die. Anybody else want to use their round to it? I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees until I die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I die. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray until I die. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray. I'm going to watch, fight, and pray until I die. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees until I die. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees. I'm going to stay on my bending knees until I die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for these souls, Lord Jesus, that decided to use their round to it tonight, Lord Jesus. We thank you for filling them with the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, for everyone, Lord Jesus, that's in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray that they make a decision before it's everlasting too late. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you restore, Lord Jesus, the virtue to the speaker, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, that you keep us, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, and protect us as we go, Lord Jesus, to our homes and bring us back to the appointed time. We just thank you right now, Lord. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Everyone, 